In this video, we'll finish our simple inventor publisher animation of the Bloom laptop by changing styles, adding labeling, and adjusting the animation timing. Let's say I want to change the background color, material, or rendering style. First, by right-clicking on the storyboard editor, I can ensure all snapshots are affected by the changes I'm about to make. Now, if I go up here and select the view menu, I can change some basic appearance settings. The first thing I want to do is change this to a nice, clean, white background. Next, I'll select the aluminum parts and change their style. This is on the component panel in the Home menu. I'm going to choose Posterized Grayscale to give this a simpler and cleaner look. For the components, I'll do the same thing, but choose Posterized Color so they'll still stand out. With these global changes made, I'll go back and choose to work with one snapshot at a time. Now that the parts are where I want them and I like the colors, I'm going to add some callouts to label the parts. The first thing I'll do is create a new snapshot so that the labeling happens after the laptop is fully exploded. It's good practice to name each snapshot so that I can quickly navigate longer animations. If I right click on the part that I want to label, I just select callout from the context menu. Clicking on the part defines where the arrow ends and I just place the text box wherever I want it. There are a lot of options on the menu that appears. For example, you can automatically extract component properties, like part numbers, for different types of annotation. Here, I just want to enter manual text. Now, using the callout style tools, I'll remove the text border. After doing this to all of the parts, this is what I end up with. Let's take a look at what we've done and see how we can adjust the timing of the snapshots to create the visuals that we want. If I go back to the first snapshot and click on play from the context menu, the animation will play from the beginning and I can look at the storyboard editor to track the progress. I think I want to slow it down, but speed up the transitions so the viewer can understand each snapshot. So if I exit the presentation mode and click on the document tab, I can easily change the timing. I'm going to select all of the snapshots and change them from 0.25 seconds to a second. And I'll select all of the transitions and change them from 1 second to 0.5 seconds. Now that I think I have an animation that I'm happy with, it's time to export it so that I can share it. If I click on the Publish tab in the Home menu, I can see all of the options for exporting. I could choose DWF to make it easy for others to view the design in 3D. I could export a clean image, or I could even export it in an interactive format for mobile devices like the iPad. I'm going to select video. I can change the resolution or compression settings and then just save it where I want it. Now I can look at the final product to see how I like it. I'm happy with this animation, but I want to show you a couple of other basic tools in Inventor Publisher. In the next video, we'll look at how detail views and section views can help bring your design documentation to the next level.